question. There's a fellow uh, doctor named Dr. Robert Lockhart that uh, recently passed away. He was in his 70s. And somebody asked me, what are my thoughts on, on dry fasting and, and, and also this doctor that passed away? I think it's a terrible tragedy that this uh, fellow passed away. Uh, I think uh, dry fasting has its place in, you know, it has its place just like fasting does. And I don't see it too much different in terms of whenever you do something extreme or do what we're supposed to do, if you do it to the extreme, then it becomes more of a idea of you have to know what you're doing. And I'm completely okay with anyone dry fasting every single night through intermittent fasting getting, I don't know, anywhere from uh, 15 to 20 hours of, of, of just dry fasting all night from the time you go to sleep to the time you get up in the morning. Excellent. It's called intermittent fasting. It's a wonderful thing to do without, any, without even water, just going every single night from the time you ready to go to sleep, uh, sleep or even at a certain time. I know uh, Tanya Sabaska, the author here of Quantum Eden, she, doesn't, she dry fasts every single night from 2 p.m. till the morning time. Should go maybe the 20 hours every single night. I think nothing wrong with that. I think if somebody, I, I'm always supportive of somebody fasting for, uh, for, for a whole day, 24 hours, whether it be juice or water or, or even dry fasting once a week. Nothing wrong with that. But what this fellow appeared to attempt to do was to dry fast for four days. And every day of a dry fast, for my, uh, research is like doing seven days one week of a water fast so basically this man pretty much fasted uh with this short time four days it's like fasting for for, for a month on just uh, nothing dry fasting and you know fasting a month it, 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 if it's monitored and done correctly and vital signs are uh, checked uh, can be very healing to the body. Uh, I wouldn't recommend people fast for a month without understanding how to do it because it could be very damaging too. And uh, I, I know this fellow, Dr. Lockhart, who I'd never met, had uh, fasted many people and he had somewhat acknowledged and experience with fasting, but I, I think he might have underestimated the vital signs of, of fasting. Now he had confusion through it because he had... Uh, you know, he had a, 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 a an infection or a virus or something that he was trying to overcome. So uh, I know not pure natural hygienists say overcome anything with a fast, but they usually recommend a water fast. But uh, regardless, uh, uh, this person missed some of the signs, most likely, or they came up upon him all of a sudden. But uh, he was left to no choice but uh, to think he just had to go to a hospital because that's the stage he was in at that point. So he went to the hospital. And once you go to the hospital, even though they could save your life in an emergency or an accident, you go to the hospital in a, in a situation like this, you, you're really asking for danger because the, what they do to uh, help get you better is really not getting you better. It's in fact, possibly making you worse. And it's a scary situation you you put yourself in. This is why you really have to understand what you're doing when it comes to uh, fasting and long term. You really have to understand. And uh, my heart goes out to this man, his family, and the people that followed him and listened to him. Uh, apparently, he went 30 or 40 years as a fruitarian, and he had a lot of experience. Uh, it also shows you that there's no panaceas in life, and at any point, uh, life is just a vapor is what they say, right? In the Bible, at any point, somebody could go. Uh, there's no panacea, it's not even a, this type of diet, but we have to think about what we're doing and, uh, and, and really appreciate every second we're here and alive. And uh, uh, so that's my thoughts here. I, I, I don't know enough about this doctor, but I, I, I do know, you know, my, my mentor, Dr. Fred Bishy, is 90 years old and he's done much fasting. And I don't know how, how much dry fasting he's done in his life, but uh, he's had situations and experiences in his life later on where he's had to go to the hospital for certain things, and he was pretty much against it in most of his life. Uh, but to a degree, they helped him uh, to get past a certain place. But when you go in the hospital, you really have to be, unless you're in an accident and unconscious or something, uh, 
knowledgeable about what you could elect them do and not do and what's happening and not happening there. And no, I'm not trying to blame the hospital for, for what happened to this person. Uh, but I am asking people and letting people know when you do things, you really, really have to know what's going on. And you've really got to pay attention, especially when you do something like a long-term fast uh, and you try to go back all of a sudden because they're going to give you the standard thing at the hospital. That might be uh, cooked food or, 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 or something that, that's just your body is not used to, especially if you've been doing the healthy lifestyle for a very long time, the raw food lifestyle for a long time. So, uh, so you got to be careful with things like this. So again, fasting is wonderful. I'm not downplaying fasting. I think it's uh, it's excellent. Uh, long-term fasting is 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 another story. You know, you really have to know, and you have to know what you're doing. And and there's no there's very little issues if you know what you're doing. Uh, and even if you know what you're doing, like this person apparently believed to know what he was doing, uh, it's 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 not something to play around with. It's not so. So yes, so fasting is a great way to simplify your your diet and your life. And again, I think it's great to do one day a week. I think it's important to do every single night. Uh, If you have a certain illness or something or you fast for a couple of days, I think it's good. But water should be used unless it's uh, a dry fasting has its place, but not long term. And I've actually uh, always warned people like three days being the max you know, from a dry fast, but you know, it's, uh, even then it's, it's something I would, I would shy against. Uh, so yeah, so I'm sorry to hear this again and, uh, this news, but I'm not surprised because, uh, you know, as Dr. Fred Bishy tells me, you know, stuff like this has been going on for a long time and people have been getting themselves in trouble thinking they knew what they were doing, but they really weren't. And the consequences can be deadly. So that's why we really have to I'd be careful about this. I don't want to scare anyone who's new to this or anything like that. Please understand. This was a, a rare, extreme situation, uh, but uh, good information by this fellow from what I understand. Uh, so uh, just uh, don't get sidetracked by by a lot of this and, 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 and still make sure you're eating your fruits and vegetables and so on. All right. So that's uh, my information about that.